Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So, did, like I said in my previous video, um, I did the introduction and then I went ahead and put on the rest of my face and um, we're going to be working out of the Tati Beauty palette. Um, I just feel like this is the palette I want to start with. I got this, well I got it when it launched. Um, my fiance uh, paid for it. Uh, for my birthday slash Christmas present because I got this and then right after that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson launched theirs and I got that um, which was a mess took forever but I got the, the palettes both of them so plus for me and I actually got a um, P piggy the pink piggy purse I got it I didn't get the mirror though I wanted the mirror so bad but I didn't get it now, as I said, I'm not a makeup artist, a makeup guru, a self-proclaimed makeup artist. I have no skill set in makeup other than I like to buy it, I like to put it on, I like to play with it, I like to do all that stuff, okay? So, that's, that's about the extent of it. Um, now, what I need to say is that I'm so sorry. <laughs> I won't do these palettes any justice at all. Um, and I really do feel bad for that because I, I, I do want to do them justice. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that I don't have the experience because you, you wouldn't get just a customer review then from just someone that just likes to apply makeup. So you really wouldn't know if it was good or not good, if you could work with it, couldn't work with it. Because, again, if you're on a skill set and a 1 to 10 and I'm a 2 and a makeup artist is a 10, sorry about my hair, guys, then, and I'm a 10 and you're a 4, you wouldn't really know where you're at. You know what I mean? So, with that said, it's like you, you just got to bear with me and remember where you're at compared to where I'm at and then you would know like if you can use the palette or not you know what I mean so we're gonna go ahead and begin I've got no idea what I'm doing <laughs> just to let you know and again because I'm not a makeup artist I don't use the correct techniques I don't use maybe even the correct brushes um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because there's no rules to make up and I feel like there's more people in that boat than there is says can do a Bob Ross painting on their face you know what I mean so if you are in a higher skill set than me I am sorry um, as far as my skill set um, but at the same time, I, I, I'll just let you straight up know these palettes are good. This one is, is fantastic. When she said from beginner to a makeup artist could use this palette, that's true. I feel like a beginner is like your mattes and um, your metallics. Um, those were very easy for me to work with. The sequence was easy, but I was having the issue with a little bit of glitter fallout. And that really, I didn't know how to combat that because I don't have the skill set. And the glitter, that went all over my face. That was everywhere. And of course, you know, being me, seeing the glitter, it's so pretty. That's what I wanted to go with. And that probably wasn't the best thing for me to do because I didn't have that skill set to do that with but with that said it's just I just wanted to lay it out there for you that it is a good palette well it's a great palette and for the price of it it's like cr crazy that they can come up with these prices and have such good product um, and not to take away from this one but the same with Jeffree Star um, his products are phenomenal and he has it set at a good price point. Um, and again, especially now watching that documentary that <clears throat> Shane Dawson did, Tati putting her numbers out there even. 
Like, that's crazy to me that they're willing to go that far to show us what it's worth, what they're doing, their products, their their numbers, the whole nine yards, you know? So I just find it very fascinating. And of course, I also find their mind, the way they create fascinating, the colors they choose to everything. So I do, I mean, I just find it all fascinating right now. I don't know why, it, but it's been like that for a while. Um, me finding the makeup world just very interesting. So I've already primed my eyelids. I use the ABH primer. Um, I think that Tati uses the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is a good product too. I don't mind that product. It's just something that I'm not, it's not my number one. Um, I do like, I do like it. I like the Urban Decay one. Um, the, uh, anti-aging eyeshadow primer potion. I like it. I like the P. Louise base. I, I only got to try that a couple times due to the fact that, um, I got it in number three and it was just too dark for me. So it was, it really wasn't quite worth it at that point, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start and I do apologize for any like background noise. Like I said, I'm a mother for it's chaotic here. So, and I have a grandbaby. I don't know if I mentioned that my oldest has a baby. So, granted, she don't live here, but again, chaos. You know what I mean? So, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to lay down um, over the base. I'm going to go in with the Aura in the mat and just sort of um, make sure that that primer is good and not creasing or anything because that wouldn't be good. And we're just gonna do it very lightly because these colors have pigment. And I will say that the aura is like a magic eraser. It truly, truly is. All right, there we go. So, after, I'm going to go in with uh, Soothe in the mat and put that in my crease. Or, I have hooded eyes, apparently, because when I look straight ahead at someone, you can't see anything. So, I'm supposed to, like, move where my crease actually is. I go a little bit above that. And what I do is I technically, technically look down, I'm spitting now, but I look down into a mirror and sort of open my eye and feel for that bone. And when I find it, I guess it'd be called what? The orbital bone, I think. And that's where I put my crease. And again, her colors are very pigmented. So you want to have a sort of a light hand because again, you can build it can't really take it away but you can with our palette just use aura I'm telling you that's like an a magic eraser I kid you not I do not know why but it is so did everybody have a good Christmas get what they want I was lucky I did I got everything I wanted Got a little bit earlier, but you know, I'm still, I still count it. It really didn't feel like Christmas though. Years just seem to fly by anymore. I guess the older you get, the more it does that. Cause each year I get older and I'm like, man, that year went by. When, when I was younger, it was like, man, I can't wait for this one to be over, you know? So it was like once you hit 21, well, 30. It's like, well, then what? <laughs> it's just a birthday then, you know? 
At least that's the way I feel. All right. So I don't know if you can technically see that color or not, but it is there. I did it very lightly just to sort of map out where the next color is going. And I'm using the Scott Barnes brush also. I guess I should have said that. Shoot. 62. I mean, if you're going to use her product, you got to at least use something of his, right? I haven't tried any of his products, so. Probably need to. His brushes are good. I got three of them. Um, I got 62, 61, and 63 are the ones that I got. But I do like this one a lot. And again, I'm, you know, not a makeup artist, so my blending skills, not the best at all. Keep it in mind. But if you can see where I laid down that color. And again, that was Soothe and Matte. Now I'm going to go into the darker shade, and that's Ritual. And I'm going to go into that with In the Matte, and I'm just going to go just a little bit below um, where I laid Soothe, not necessarily completely into my crease, but close to that. Oh, I forgot to kick that off. Okay, we're going to be blending on this one. I really got that a little bit too dark. I didn't mean to do that one. But you can see how dark, how pigmented, I mean... <laughs> crazy crazy and I didn't even have that much on like I barely touched into that but like I said her it's worth every penny so I would definitely highly 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 recommend like getting her palette when it comes back in because it, it whether you're new at it or more advanced like it you know, if you want a good palette that the colors are going to last, the glitter is going to last, like the whole nine yards, this is it, for real. At a good price point, let me say that too. Because, I mean, there's definitely others, you know, um, shades like this you can get that... But they won't last like hers at all. Not even a little bit. And I'm trying to think of something. Because it's New Year's Eve. But I really just. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably nothing. I feel like I'm just. The you know going out scene just. Isn't my cup of tea anymore you know. And then. Honestly I'm in bed before midnight every night. Well, no, I'm not. That's not true. <laughs> it takes me forever at night to get ready. Well, I mean, anymore, I feel like I need... The only time I get to myself is that night, right? Why don't you put your kids down? So, then I was like, okay, you have to take care of yourself, your skin. And not just your face. Like, your skin. So, you know, I, did, I relax. I take a, a salt bath and all that. And, you know, kind of lose track of time. And before you know it, bam! You know, it's like, whatever. 12 o'clock, <laughs> 2 o'clock. It's hard to tell, you know? So, all right. So, the next shade I'm going to go into, I think, is going to be Poet. I think it would really match my dress, to be honest, in a sense. Um, and I'm going to go into the mat, like I said. And I'm going to put that in the inner V area. And I'm going to use Scott Barnes. 
63. And I'm just going to put that in. Very easily. This color is so, so pigmented. Like, I really do have to go so easy with this because, like, I am so scared with this shade that I'm going to go overboard, you know? because it is so easy to do, to be honest. And I never want to do that, because like, I'm so scared of messing up the look. You have no idea how little eyeshadow I'm putting on this brush. It's just crazy. And then I'm just going to take a, a clean brush, I guess, in a sense, and just sort of you blend that out some. I don't want to blend it out too much though. I don't want to take away from the color. Alright. I don't think there's any blotchiness or I think I blended it well. Alright. So, onto the other eye. Again, super duper easy I go. I'm <laughs> sticking my tongue out like I'm really concentrating. I really, really don't want to mess this up by no means. And I'm so, so scared to make a move with this. I think I messed this one up just a little bit. I think maybe I didn't, I think, but I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Alright. And again, I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, and I just haven't figured it out yet. And everybody does their own look their own way, too. So, again, it ain't about how I apply it, technically. It's about the product itself. So that's what you need to take into consideration is the product itself, not the person using it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because the person using it, no. You know, I think I'd be a beauty school dropout, to be honest. I think they'd kick me out, I'm not even gonna lie. I truly, truly do. I believe like they'd be like, no, nah, we're good. We don't need no nah, no. Nah. We don't need that here, that's for sure. I do, I believe that's the way they'd be with me. If I tried to go to beauty school. They'd be like, nope, nope, nope. No. We're good. I cry. <laughs> Alright. I think I got it about 
about the same. We'll, we'll pretend like it is anyway. Now, I will say that that sometimes does stain my eyes depending on how um, bright I make it or what if I don't lay down, a, um, if I forget to lay down the, um, like the primer. So keep that in mind. It stains my brushes, uh, especially, well, I'm sure it stains them all. You just can't see it on the black um, bristle ones, but the white ones, let me tell you. It does stain. I've tried there. Sometimes I can, well, you know, get it out pretty good, but at times I still can't get it out all the way though. So, but that is what it is. Okay. So I think now I'm going to go and put on I kinda, what do I want? I think I want the Aurora in metallic one, is what I want. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Let's see. Let's see here. And I'm just using a little Morphe brush. And then I just do like kind of just a tad bit too far right there. I don't want to take away from that. Perfect. Then under eye, I'm going to take the Ritual and I'm going to run that on the lower lash line. I'm pretty basic to be honest. I mean, I try to do like the colorful stuff. I really do just never turns out very good on me but you'll see as time goes on I mean I will try it I don't have a problem in trying it for people by no means but And I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some of the Benefit Roller Lash. I do love that mascara. This is very simple, but yet very pretty, I think. And I mean, this is kind of what I would say is the easiest to do, but yet definitely, you know, looks good. And of course, you know, I'm going to hit my bottom lash line, right? Or my bottom. I always find that every time I do my makeup, I don't know about anybody else, right? But like, you'll be doing so good that everything looks good, right? And then all of a sudden, it's mascara time. 
And what do you do? Touch your face. It's like without fail it happens. Clean that up in a minute. Like I said, there's no editing, so when I mess up, you see my mess up. It is what it is. I'll clean it up in a second. Um, once it dries, I'll just pick it off. But um, this concludes the video. As you can see, the eyeshadow palette works very well, very easy. Um, I don't, I mean, other than the glitters, that's the only thing anybody would even have an issue. And it's not that they're bad. If you just don't know what you're doing, just don't do it. And even if you took those out, the rest of the palette is worth its money in gold. But, um, I think tomorrow I'm going to play with the Jeffree Star palette. But, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Um, hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload a video. I'm going to try to make some sort of schedule, like I said in a previous video. But, um, what else was there? I guess that was it. But um, until next time, guys, stay safe. Be smart. <laughs> Bye.